All right, Spike, what are we doing today? We got some new graphics and new plastics for the 300i Husqvarna. I'm going to install them and give you a little how-to video on how we do it. All brand new, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Let's get everything out, get it on the table, and go from there. Brand new shiny plastic. That white really does pop. Probably my favorite color. Pretty much goes with everything. Got the gray lowers. They should look good. Everything's looking, looking nice. Let's get to getting some decals on. Guys, real important step. Even though they're brand new plastics, you still have to clean them. There still has some possible oil on it and stuff like that, residue that you want to get off. I use Brake Clean. Um, gets it nice and clean after I use the Brake Clean. I have a dilution of Windex and water. So I'll spray that on after I do this and make sure it's nice and dry before you can try and put the, plastic, or the graphics on. Pro tip number one. Also, don't spray directly on the plastics. Spray I'll it on your... Paper towel, and then wipe. <laughs> All the overspray just got on the plastic. <laughs> it's okay, though. We're going to wipe them all off anyways. No, it doesn't take any of the shine away. Still nope. leaves it there. Leaves it there. Um, if you're working with a Yamaha or something like that that has natural badges on it, you don't want to rub over those badges because it can take a little bit of that shine away from that. But on these plastics that we're going to put uh, graphics over top of, it's not going to matter. You can compare the two right now. And that's still a little wet there, but the, the sheen is still there. It's just not as the two different ones right there. So we're peeling the back off. We half lined it up, making sure the fitment was okay. We're spraying this off. That looks way better. Frame both of them. That way they're both lubricated. That allows you to move the plastic underneath the sticker. That way if you don't quite get the alignment you want, the lub lubricity <laughs> go with it. will go with it it from sticking down all the way so you can move it and position it and manipulate it to what you want okay now that we got it roughed roughed in there we're going to take a little bit of heat it also helps dry up the liquid that you have behind it you don't want to use an excess amount that's hot hot daddy hot Now you're just pressing down on the graphic, pushing out. You can see the moisture coming out of that as he bends it around, squeezing it out. You just feed it all the way along. Start in one spot, work your way around. Take your time. Having a friend also helps. No.
So we just wrapped up putting the graphics on, Kung Fu graphics, along with uh, Sorbus, or however you say it, plastics. Everything went pretty good for the most part. Only ended up with one extra screw, bolt, so yeah. it's not bad. That's extras. It's, yeah, everything's extra. I mean, How, it's, it's together, it's functioning. Fitment's pretty good on everything. Yeah, fitment lined up pretty well. I fought with a couple pieces, but everything's pretty much plug and play. Um, the graphics, really good. I mean, we have a little bubble here. Can't even tell. Not bad overall. I mean, they're nice and thick. They're not thin and flimsy and easily ripped. Um, we'll I'm happy with the product. We'll see what the durability is this year. Put it through the test. I'll definitely put it on the ground a bunch of times. So oh, yeah. I know how it really works. For sure. Any final words? Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda? Is that what you are? <laughs> the Kung Fu Panda? Going through the woods. That's what I look like. Kung Fu Panda. Okay. How about uh, comment, like, subscribe, things like that? Absolutely. Comment, like, subscribe. Press that little bell thing. <laughs> I'm, doing this stuff. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. But hey, we're here and we're ready to party. And stay tuned for more. Win or lose, we still booze. All right. <laughs>